For example, Abhishek bought a typewriter and sold it at 15% gain. If he sold it for rupees 4025, what did he pay for it? Here we have SP of typewriter is equal to rupees 4025. Gain is equal to 15%. Therefore, CP of the typewriter is equal to SP into 100 by 100 plus gain is equal to rupees 4025 into 100 by 100 plus 15 is equal to rupees 4025 into 100 by 115 is equal to rupees 3500. Hence, he paid rupees 3500 for the typewriter. Let us now learn about simple interest. Suppose you are in need of money for business. You will borrow it either from some money lender or from bank. You will return it to the lender or bank after a fixed time. The cash borrowed by you from the lender is called the principal. After the fixed time, you will give back to the lender not only the money you borrowed from him, but also an additional sum for the use of his money. The additional money paid by the borrower to the lender for the money used is called interest. Interest is usually calculated on a percentage basis on the principal. The sum paid for the use of rupees 100 is called the rate percent. If this rate percent is calculated for a year, it is called the rate percent per year or per annum. The sum of the interest and the principal is called the amount. The simple interest can be calculated by using the formula SI is equal to P into R into T, where SI, P, R and T stand for simple interest, principal, rate and time respectively. Also, amount is equal to principal plus interest. From these formula, we can also say that P is equal to SI by R into T, T is equal to SI by P into R and R percent is equal to SI into 100 by P into T. To understand this more clearly, let us calculate the simple interest on rupees 2000 for 5 years at 14% per annum. Here, principal is equal to rupees 2000, time is equal to 5 years, rate is equal to 14% per annum. By using the formula, SI is equal to P into R into T, we get SI is equal to rupees 2000 into 5 into 14 by 100 is equal to rupees 1400. Let us take an example to understand the use of the other formulae more clearly. Let us find the rate of interest which yields an interest of rupees 280 on a sum of rupees 56,000 for 2 years. Here we have principal is equal to rupees 56,000. Time is equal to 2 years. SI is equal to rupees 280. By using the formula, R% percent is equal to SI into 100 by P into T, we get rate percent is equal to 280 into 100 by 56,000 into 2 is equal to 1 by 4. Hence, rate is 1 by 4% per annum.